Uh, folks, for my brief take on this, Democrats just can't stop trying to stop Donald Trump from running for president. They're obsessed with stopping him. It's in their DNA. They refuse medications for their Trump derangement syndrome. They do not want an actual November election. They'll subvert any constitutional or even institutional process to keep Trump from running. And the more they try, the dumber they look. And the dumber they look, the voter sympathy builds for Mr. Trump. I don't think any of us have ever seen anything like this, ever. Now, the most recent, of course, the Colorado Supreme Court, made up of seven Democrats, ruled that Mr. Trump be disqualified under the 14th Amendment that was drafted after the Civil War to apply to those who fought for the Confederacy. Now, this is known as the so-called insurrectionist charge. Of course, it will be overturned by higher courts. But what's so remarkable about these crazy Democrats is that Mr. Trump has never been convicted. No, 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 wait a minute. Mr. Trump has never even been charged with any crime related to insurrection. Even special counsel Jack Smith, who works for Attorney General Merrick Garland, who works for President Joe Biden, even they have not charged Trump with incitement or insurrection. So let's just go back in time and take a quick listen to what Mr. Trump actually said in his speech on January 6th. I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard. All right, peacefully and patriotically is not insurrection. That's called free speech. And on that topic, even if Mr. Trump believed that he won the 2020 presidential election, and if he says so, that is still called free speech. That is the First Amendment. That's not only not an insurrection, it's not a crime. Now, Mr. Trump may be right or he may be wrong, but in our free country, he is allowed to say so. And he is permitted to run again. Now, here's the great Alan Dershowitz on this whole issue. Quote, in the 60 years I've been practicing and teaching law, I have never seen a decision that's so anti-democratic and so unconstitutional, end quote. And here's eminent constitutional professor Jonathan Turley, and I will quote, it is an anti-democratic opinion, and it could set us on a course that would be incredibly destabilizing for our system, end quote. Now, these crazy 14th Amendment insurrectionist charges to keep Trump off state ballots, they've been tried in nearly three dozen states across the country. And as of this writing, Except for the liberal ankle biters in Colorado, wiser heads have prevailed elsewhere, and a bunch of the dumb charges have been thrown out altogether. Well, by the way, if the insurrection disqualification were ever upheld, then, as uh, Hillary Vaughn said, Colorado Republicans will change their bylaws and move to a caucus system, which will then nominate Trump. They are a common sense bunch in Colorado. And of course, Joe Biden chimed in today to say Trump supported insurrection. So, Joe, why didn't your AG bust Trump for that? Or your special counsel? Well, here's a thought. Because there's no case. There's no insurrection. The Democrats' disregard for the law has spread over many other issues. You know, the law says, for example, protect America's sovereignty. But Democrats favor open borders with over 10,000 illegals streaming into the country every single day. The Supreme Court says Joe Biden has no executive authority to cancel student loans. But he's doing it anyway. The Supreme Court also ruled that the EPA didn't have the legal authority to regulate greenhouse gas emissions. But the Bidens are doing that anyway. And of course, pay-for-play influence peddling and international bribery, well, they're forbidden under the law, but evidence is mounting that the Biden family ignored those laws, too. More generally, I want to say, far-left liberals have always disregarded the law. They are the government command and control advocates. And the so-called deep state and their left-wing masters will break any law in order to achieve their socialist economics and their woke culture, including even 
breaking our democracy into a thousand pieces. And that is my riff. <laughs>